Hi, Ben here. My friends over at Ryobi sent over their latest OnePlus HP brushless tools. And wow, there's a lot to discuss. High performance, advanced technology, and some really innovative features that I have not seen before. So let's get to it. It's been years since I've used a corded circular saw, which is kind of crazy because I remember a time when the idea of a battery powered circular saw seemed totally inconceivable. This seven and a quarter brushless circular saw has all the power and performance that I need for both DIY projects as well as the large scale residential construction projects that I'm now working on. I immediately noticed the heavy duty die cast upper guard and the onboard Allen wrench, which is great because it means you don't have to be fumbling around for that specialty wrench to switch out a blade. But the game changer for me is the dust port that allows you to hook up a cordless shop vac. Can't wait to break down that next sheet of plywood with nice clean cuts and the convenience of portable battery powered dust collection. The angle grinder is my favorite tool, and when I saw that they have a tool-free way to remove the wheels, I was blown away. This is one of those quality of life upgrades that just makes work a lot more enjoyable and way less frustrating. There are three different locations that allow you to screw on a handle, and I really appreciate the ergonomic upgrade of the paddle trigger. It has a push button adjustable guard, which means you don't need a screwdriver to adjust the angle. It comes with different guard attachments for different applications, so make sure you check out the manual to review the safety procedures. And that brushless motor delivers a lot of power and extends battery life. I had no trouble at all going through this quarter inch thick piece of plate steel. I love doing concrete projects, so I had a lot of good ways to test out this one inch SDS plus rotary hammer drill. It has an adjustable handle, a depth guide, and three different modes, drilling, hammer drilling, and a hammering or chiseling option. I'm going to start with half inch holes through two inches of solid 5000 psi concrete. Watch my hands and you can see that there is very little vibration as we went right through this two inch thick piece of concrete in just seconds. I was pretty surprised so I had to try it again just to make sure. Look at that, like butter. Now, of course, a cinder block didn't stand a chance against it, but seeing how easily it went through made me really excited about the next time I have demolition to do. The chiseling mode is great for scraping off real tough caulking or construction adhesive off of the melamine boards that I use for forming concrete. I've also used it for demolition work like removing linoleum or tiles in kitchen and bathroom remodels. I tried to think of some really difficult ways to challenge it, and dried concrete on a rusty shovel came to mind. Have you ever tried getting old concrete off of rusty metal? It's not easy, and this drill had no problem at all. Now I don't use multi-tools that often, but now that I have one that doesn't require any tools to switch out the blades, I'm certainly open to the idea. And I'm always looking for new ways to cut square holes. I snapped on a plunge cut blade and went right through this three quarter inch plywood with nice precise cuts. The variable speed dial allowed me to really dial in the right setting and I started off slow so that I could easily follow the lines and then up the speed to cut all the way through. I was perfectly satisfied with my old jigsaw but I'm always up for a more compact upgrade especially when it comes with faster cutting, and a longer runtime. I also really appreciate the die cast metal base that has a non-marring cover, which just means I'm gonna to need to do less finish work when I'm cutting out a nice piece of Europly. The half inch hammer drill delivers up to 750 inch pounds of torque, has a toolless auxiliary handle, and a hammer mode for drilling through concrete or masonry products. The four mode impact driver has a one handed bit release, a more compact design, and a die cast gear case for maximum durability. And for really tough jobs, check out this beast. It's a four mode half inch impact wrench. This is going to come in handy when I'm removing bolts from wind turbine blades. Seriously, it's that heavy duty. My projects are getting bigger and more ambitious, so I'm really excited that Ryobi is constantly improving the tools that I use every single day. If you want to see me put these tools to the test, check out my Instagram and follow along. All right. Bye, everybody.